Hey everyone and Merry Christmas. Kathy here and today I'm going to share with you as my Christmas gift to you uh, my recipe for a body whip. It's like body butter. Um, if you keep it in the refrigerator it's still going to be semi-hard like body butter but I set mine uh, right by where I sit on the sofa and uh, I use it and it's light and fluffy and so soft and it just takes just a tiny little bit and uh, so anyway it's my favorite recipe and I'm going to share it with you so uh, grab a pen and paper um, what I have here in this pot and I put my Pyrex bowl inside kind of a water bath and I'm going to slowly melt these down um, what I have here is 11 ounces each of shea butter and it's the uh, natural unrefined shea butter coconut oil and mango butter so 11 ounces each of those and I'm going to slowly melt those down until they're totally liquid uh, and then I'm going to stir in 11 ounces of jojoba oil after I do that we're going to stick it in the freezer and we're going to come back and we're going to start whipping. But for now, I'm just going to uh, simmer these down to get them to liquid. And I will bring you back uh, when they turn liquid. So, And we'll recap this whole recipe when we're done as well. But for now, it's 11 ounces each of shea, coconut, and mango butter. So we're going to melt those down um, over fairly high heat till I get my water kind of simmering and then I'll turn it down and just melt it nice all the way down until it's totally liquid. So we'll come back when this is totally liquid. Okay, so we're almost down to uh, where everything's melted. I'm just going to turn my, my heat off here and kind of move this off to the side and let it sit for a second. But I want to show you now this is the size jar I use. Um, these are six ounce jars. I get them, they're beautiful glass jars. I get them at Voyager Soap and Candle Company. They're in British Columbia, Canada. And uh, they hold a really lot of this once it's whipped up. I mean, you can fill, this recipe will fill, I think it's 11 of these jars. So, but I wanted to show you, my lighting's not the best in here. I apologize. Let me see if I can help that any. But uh, I've been using this one for, gosh, a month and a half at least, two months maybe. But it just takes just a tiny bit, and look how soft that is. Melts right onto your skin. It's very soft and very fluffy, and just that much. And I use it on my hands all the time. I love it. I'll uh, use it on my feet and legs and uh, whatever is left over on my hands. Uh, I'll rub onto my face. So just a little bit will go a long way, and I just I just can't get over how much I love this recipe. So what I'm going to be fragrancing with this with today is also a fragrance that's from Voyager Soap and Candle Company, and it's called Bonsai and um, Citrus Ginger. And I love the smell. I think it's great for winter. Everybody loves citrus fruits in the winter. And it just has that wonderful um, citrusy notes to it. It's a really nice fragrance. So uh, that's what I'm going to be fragrancing mine with um, today. But we don't put the fragrance in yet. Um, what I do want to put in, and I have to measure this out, is my um, jojoba oil. And let me put this back here. That's, that's all liquid now. There's only a few little bitties floating around in there. So I have my jojoba oil, and I'm going to add that now. But I have to measure it out. So being careful not to set that on my hot burner. Put this here. Tear my scale. And I bought jojoba oil from another Canadian company. Um, trying to buy Canadian whenever I can. I do still order from the States because we live right on the border um, and can still pick it up. So, but what I'm doing is I'm pouring 11 ounces also of jojoba oil. So this is not an inexpensive 
um, body whip, but it is super good for your skin, let me tell you. Close, close, so close. Okay, a little over, but that's okay. So anyway, I did, I bought this from, and I'm not sure whether they pronounce it Coop Coco or Co-op Coco. Um, but anyway, that's where I bought that from, the jojoba oil. Um, and it is uh, in a big container. So I use about a third of it, actually. So there's 11 ounces of that. And we're going to stir that in here as well. Now, since I'm going to be putting this into my freezer, I'm not going to leave it in this glass Pyrex because I get a little nervous going from extreme temperature to extreme temperature. I'm going to instead transfer this into my mixer um, bowl, which is right here, because that way when it's ready to whip, I don't have to transfer it again. It can just, sorry, I'm shuffling things around. I've been baking all morning too. So <laughs> anyway, um, I won't have to transfer it again when I'm ready to whip. It'll already be in the whipped uh, mixer bowl. It's gonna be cold and uh, it's gonna do much better that way. It's also less dishes for me, so. Um, but again, what I'm gonna add in here at this point as well is I have 100% uh, pure organic rosehip oil, and this dropper's not marked. This is more of something I just like to add into my lotion bars and body butters. So it, it fills up the, the end of this dropper. That's maybe one and a half milliliters, I'm thinking. It's not marked, so it's hard to tell. But I put about four of these in, into this big batch. It adds... Uh, I'll read you the label. There's four. Okay. This is my, my glasses, because I'm an old lady and can't see anymore. Um, it is organic rosehip oil. It says naturally rich in omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids, proven to protect and repair damaged skin cells, fine lines, and wrinkles. Contains antioxidants for healthier, more radiant complexion. Has vitamins A and E, natural protection against sun damage. A fast-acting moisturizer that hydrates, nourishes, and soothes the skin. And it's good for brittle nails, dry hair, all skin types, and non-greasy. But anyway, we're adding it into our butter and oils here. So it's all going to be mixed really well together. And this is not going to be a greasy body whip either because we are going to be adding in some uh, arrowroot powder. So we're going to blend that in when it's time to mix. Uh, but for now, we're going to take these melted oils and I'm going to pour them into my mixer right here. And then I'm going to go pop them into the fridge. Actually, I'm going to dry off the, uh, the bottom here. I don't want water dripping into my mixture. So I'll pour that in there. It's a beautiful golden color. Really pretty. And then I'm going to go pop this downstairs. I have an upright fridge slash freezer. And I'm just going to put it in there and I'm going to go check on it in about 15 minutes. I'm going to give it a stir and then another 15 minutes, etc., etc., until we're ready to whip. And I'll show you what the consistency is like then. And so we'll be back when it's ready to whip. As you hear, my timer just went off. So we're back and yeah, it's been just about an hour and 20 minutes since I popped this into the freezer. And if you can see the consistency, we've solidified quite a bit. Once it starts thickening, you really have to keep your eye on it in the freezer. You don't want it to get like too thick. 
So what I'm gonna do now is pop my whisk attachment in and we'll get to whisking this. And get some lovely butters going. Raise that up. And uh, we're just breaking it up right now and getting it a little looser. I'm going to add in, this is about a half a cup by volume of arrowroot powder. So I'm going to add that in little by little right now. Just by the spoonful. Be careful not to, uh, whoop, let me turn that down. Be careful not to get your spoon caught in when you drop this in. I've done that before. You have to turn your blender off really, really quickly. All right. So let me scrape down the side and get the rest of that powder in there. Because uh, I don't have one of the blenders that hits like really well. It's, it hits the sides pretty good, but anyway, we're just going to get the rest of that powder in there and continue blending. Turning up little by little. So we get it up on high and I'm going to let it go and I'll bring you back when it's all whipped up. Okay, so I've had this blending for a good 15-20 minutes and you can see the consistency right now. So now I'm going to add in my fragrance oil. You can use essential oils if you'd like or your own fragrance oil. Make sure you know the usage rate and especially with essential oils of course, know the safety uh, as far as who your customer is and because this is dangerous to use essential oils sometimes with pregnant women and women who are nursing, etc. So be really careful with that. So I'm going to put this on low. I'm going to pour in my bonsai and citrus ginger fragrance and then I'm going to put it back up on high and make sure it's whipped in really well. So just pour, pour some little bit at a time there. I love the smell of this. Oh, it's just delicious. Pour the rest in. We blend that up a bit. Now I'm gonna scrape my sides and then continue to blend on high again because this might deflate just a little bit because of pouring in the uh, fragrance oil. Oh, smells delicious though, I'm telling you. And this is so luxurious. So we'll whip that up on high and I'll bring you back when we're ready to fill our jars. Okay, so I'm done whipping and you can see, just look at that texture. I'm going to set this off to the side and start filling my piping bag. I have um, no tip in this. I just uh, set my piping bag in something tall. I'm going to fill it up and then I'll cut the end just to help me fill my jars. Now, the jars I have in the box that they came in, uh, I only have 11 here because that's what filled last time. I've sprayed them with alcohol on the inside and I've also sprayed the lids. So everything's nice and sanitary there. Um, I'm going to, like I said, fill my piping bag. Oh, isn't that luxurious? Look at that. Oh. And then we'll start filling my jars here. So I'm going to put you back up on the counter. And uh, hopefully you won't fall off. I'm not in my studio today. I'm in my, my kitchen. So <laughs> it's uh, a little less room. 
Let me see. We're all zoomed out here. I just want to get a good angle for you there. And uh, my scissors handy. Fill my bag. I'm just going to kind of be doing this a couple times at least. Oh, what's good about this, if you get some on your hands, it's no big deal. <laughs> because it can just end up with super soft skin. Okay, so I'm going to hold it over one of my jars and cut the end off. There. And we'll just start filling up our jars about as high as you can go. Now, I might not get 11 jars. I don't know if, I can't remember if this whipped up, if I whipped it higher last time or not. Um, I didn't video it, of course, so. Anyway. We'll see what we get. Last time it was 11. I'm trying to fill my bag here again. And hopefully it all won't run out of the other end before I start filling jars again. I don't see it's running out a little bit. So we'll hurry up. There we go. And like I said, I keep these since I sell my body whip on eBay, or sorry, not eBay, Etsy. Um, I keep these stored in my refrigerator downstairs. I have an extra refrigerator for like my lotion bars and my body whip, body butters. So I always keep them in the fridge. So. They do get a firmer while they're sitting, whoops, sitting in the fridge. Um, like I said, when I'm using mine, I leave it out on my table. And uh, it's a nice whipped, light consistency. Do this one again. This is going to be dripping out of the bag. Whoop. It's just beautiful. And we'll scrape the remainder. I think we'll fit the rest of this in there. My hands are going to be super soft. Look at how my hands are just all shiny. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set this remainder there for a second. I'm going to bang my jars just a tad, just to make sure don't fall off there now. That everything is getting settled down there. I don't want any little air bubbles in there. And then I'm just going to top them off a bit in each one. Oops. The, um, the lids will compress this down when I put the lids on. And the rest, 
in there. Beautiful. All right. So, there's our jars. Rub that on my elbow. And, uh, oh, smells wonderful. Love it, love it. We'll go over our recipe again, don't worry. But uh, you can see how nicely it filled up the jars. I'm not going to touch these jars right now because my hands are still a little bit uh, moisturized, shall we say. But not overly. Um, they will soak in very quickly. Uh, the arrowroot powder helps cut down on that greasy feeling. So it's a really lovely, lovely uh, body whip. Um, so anyway, I will, I will put my lids, I'll set them on top like so. I don't really want to get fingerprints on the top of those either. So I'm just touching them by the sides just until my hands dry out a bit. And then I'll finish putting, you know, screwing the lids on and putting my labels on the top. Um, these will be in my Etsy shop as well. So I'll leave this one here. Um, so if you want to go ahead and pick one up, they last forever. It's really, really nice stuff. You know, especially with all of that jojoba oil and the, the mango and shea butters, it's just wonderful. I mean, isn't that beautiful? So anyway, we'll go over the recipe again for you if you didn't catch it. Um, basically, if you want to size this down to where you're not making like all of these jars, just remember to use equal parts of shea, coconut, mango, and jojoba oil. My recipe for these 11 jars was 11 ounces of each, shea, cocoa, mango, and jojoba oil. I used a half a cup by volume of arrowroot powder and my four little droppers of rosehip oil. That's just something I like to add into mine. And then I used about an ounce and a half of my fragrance oil. Um, like I said, remember your usage rates for whatever fragrance you decide to add. You can leave it unscented. You'll get more of the nuttiness from the shea butter uh, in your fragrance. So you can leave it unscented. But uh, that's my favorite favorite. And I have, have made a few, let me tell you. But uh, none quite as luxurious as this. So... Anyway, Merry Christmas, uh, enjoy, and I hope you and your family are having a lovely day, and enjoy this recipe, give it a try, let me know what you think of it, or if you don't want to make it and you want to buy one, hit up my Etsy shop, and follow us over on Facebook at Dirty Booty Soaps. So, from our house to yours, Merry Christmas, and have a Happy New Year, until our next video, I'll say... Bye for now.